What's up, Jedi? Oh, my cams are crooked. I need to fix it. <laughs> What's up, Jedi? Legend, thank you for following me while I was offline. We're doing a patch note review with my boy Kuro. Currently have everything muted right now, though. Go ahead and pull it up. Just a quick stream. It's not going to be anything too long. I think because I do want to go eat after this but we told each other that we would do like a collab video so here it is let me see if he's ready I guess I could just pull up hello hello, hello. how are you I'm good 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 all right my man I'm ready to go when you are. I'm hyped, dude. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, wait. This guy's actually not even... He's not in my Discord. Here you go. Let me <laughs> paste it here in the chat for you. There you go, champ. All right. Where should we begin? Should we should we read everything about the new dungeons? Should we just go right to new item sets? Uh, I just want to look at anything that has anything to do with PvP. So I'd right, go over well, the dungeon sets, but I, I'm not gonna sit here and like read about the dungeon itself. You know no, what I mean? yeah, no, no, I don't. Yeah, for PvP, for PvP boys. <laughs> let's, just, let's just hit the new item sets then. Okay. Well, it looks like the DLC is called Flames of Ambition. Ambition. Flames English, of English ambition. harsh. <laughs> this better be this better be a ambitious ass DLC. Oh, champion point system right. updates and armor changes advanced stats that sounds interesting okay new battleground collectibles okay sounds like fun base game oh boy furnishings <laughs> Ooh, furnishings let's go baby some mail changes that actually might low-key like maybe oh. maybe they'll fix that glitch where you have to like relog to get your fucking mail sure. that'd be kind of hype all right, well, I think we've gone over that well enough. Ready to hop into these freaking these fucking sets? These freaking the first sets thing I now. see is new item sets, and I'm not even trying to look at my screen while I'll wait for you. I just scroll I'm down here. just a little bit. Okay. I'm looking at the first one. Are you looking at uh, truce well, to sworn fury? Oh, whoa, did I did I miss one? I'm looking at the. Uh... Oh yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. All okay. right, let's see what, what we got. So light armor set. Spell crit damage mag. Spell crit. Increase critical damage. Doubles. Oh, it's like a crit. Oh. It's like a crit titanborn, yeah. but for magic. It's mag crit titanborn. Interesting. Okay. That's a PvE set. <laughs> That's actually. Oh, <laughs> no, it was not. I don't know. It's I pretty interesting. Well, I don't with... see this getting any use. Yeah, oh, wait, I was gonna. Honors, I, I, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> That's just weird. Feel like, it's like mechanical QE you know, mixed with Titanborn, you know? Yeah. Pretty weird that, set, to be mm, honest. I don't know if it'd be mechanical QE, though, but it's definitely... I don't know how I feel about it. Definitely sounds like a Maybe bomb set. True. True, actually. You know how some Nightblades will gank and they'll do, like, that vampire mm -hmm. thing? Yeah, yeah actually. The, uh, the old six fucking... Six patch? Oh, I, I don't even know. <laughs> All right, well, that's interesting. I'm definitely not going to use this at any point. <laughs> Let's go with Sworn the next Fury, one. doo doo. Hero's Wrath. One line of weapon damage, a line of crit, another line of weapon damage, and dealing damage with a lighter heavy attack grants you a stack of burning heart for five seconds. Up to five stacks. While you have five stacks, you generate your Aura of Wrath, granting you major berserk, increasing your damage done by 10%. When you have an Aura of Wrath, allies within 12 meters of you gain Minor Berserk, increasing their damage done by 5%. What the fuck? What? Imagine old school, or old, it's not even old school, imagine old Major Berserk with that? That's nuts. That'd be crazy, but this is actually Loki kind of kind of alright. Oh, it's got crit though. That mm, I'd say this uh, would be good for like yeah. Malakath builds for the line of crit. I mean, that's Loki kind of hot. That's, that's a group utility set too. Yeah, that definitely is. That's pretty. It's pretty interesting. Five light attacks and people get major berserk. Oh, it's five. I thought it, I thought it was one stack, dude. I'm, my brain's not working. How long is it? Oh, last? It's, it's five stacks. Let's keep it up. I mean, as long as you're doing a lighter heavy attack yeah. weave, 
like an actual yeah. player, you should, should have hundred like, percent of time almost. Mm -hmm. The background drops us this much more build pretending that you guys still from Let's move on to the heavy armor. I'll, hit, I'll do this one. All right, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> we got a line of max health, two lines of max stem. I like that. When you bash an enemy, you end up to eleven group members within tank set. Fifteen meters of you gain major heroism. Uh, I mean, all right. Major heroism is cool. Sure. Yeah, sure. That's that's a tank set. And that's it. That's all it does. When you bash, wow. your group gets major heroism. Wow. Once every 18 seconds. Okay, so uh, now we have the monster helm. I dare you to try to What that type shit. of name? Encratasis? <laughs> Encrat? <laughs> Encratasis? Uh, the behemoth. The behemoth monster mask. Monster mask. Let's look at some magicka set, maybe, because there's a line of max magicka. Dealing flame damage to an enemy grants you behemoths or a for 12 seconds. They really love 12 seconds on their timers, huh? They love their 12 seconds. That reaches up to 12 meters. You and 11, up to 11 group members in the aura reduce flame damage taken by 5%. Enemies in the aura increase their flame damage taken by 5. Yes, it can it's occur gonna be every like 15 a, seconds. It's gonna be like an off healer set for trials or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's Weird. not gonna be helpful in PvP at all. Oh. Yeah, but well, Magni K is you don't need to run. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, we got two dungeons. All right. Unleashed Ritualist Light Armor. Max Mag, Max Mag, Max Mag. I like that. Dealing damage to an enemy applies Ritualist Mark to them for 10 seconds. Enemies with your Ritualist Mark take an additional 16% from your pets. Oh, fuck's sake. That's it. It's a pet set, dude. We're gonna uh, get heavy attack pet sorks back. That's gross, but that's it. Yeah, it. Dealing damage applies the thing for 10 seconds. And there's no, it doesn't look like it has a cooldown, so. The, is there a developer comment for it? Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, this so... includes pets summoned from other item sets, such as Mad Tinker and Defiler. This does not include pet like effects such as Cliff Racer and dive abilities or honor from the cold harbor's favorite set so the this means you're more colden if you're using it which you wouldn't be mm -hmm. a mad character but that kind of shit your day drop the, oh your, oh jesus your, your dino that's gonna be nuts that's gonna be aids for wow. duels yep all right you, you hit us with that next one because i don't really know what else to say about that besides yeah that's manka Sag. Dagons? Is that how you say that? Dagons Dominion? Medium yeah, armor set. Two lines of weapon damage, maximum stamina, and then the five pieces adds 492 weapon damage to your AOE abilities. Stamplar, Stamplar dude. <laughs> yes, that's my first Stamplar thought. And Holy cow. That's gonna hurt. Oh my. That is a that's lot, a lot of, of damage. damage. That's a lot of damage, bro. What the? Will it? Will this out damage deadly on a Love you, Sorvin. Hmm. Well, I guess this would. Maybe it doesn't matter because this would buff the initial hit of your Dawnbreaker for that big boy burst, mm -hmm. which deadly wouldn't do. It only give the the uh, the dot. But I can also see this being pretty fire on a Spin Warden. Yeah, I was thinking Spin Warden and and Stamplar. Samplar for sure. Oh, and it has a spoiler thing too. Oh. It adds. Also, oh, the weapon damage applies to your AOE healing abilities as oh, well. Oh shit! Such as vigor or soothing spores. I'm double or barring. Or ritual. Huh. Not bad. Not bad set. I like it. Max. Max that set. I appreciate that, Zoss. That is nice. That's actually a pretty good set. Look more into that. Test it on the I'm PC they... sometime. You do love your pets. I'm sure you do. <laughs> Enjoy. But man, I didn't realize it was going to do vigor. That's kind of fire. Wait, I, wait, wait. I, I, when I said we need to test, we need to find out if it's echoing or if it applies to both. Yeah, that's what I was about that's, to say. That's the only thing that kind of worries me. Oh, it's kind of hard to hear Zelly. Hold I up. I think they in your group building drops how you. Some. Ooh, let me turn Zelly up. Ah! Ah! 
AoEs. I'll just turn them all the way up. Say something real quick. Ah! Uh, yeah, I'm uh, just really good. You all right. What's going on, Black? <laughs> How you doing? All right, let's move on to the next set. I got this one. Full Killer's Ward, baby. Heavy armor. We got two lines of armor and some max health. Activating block while in combat places a damage shield on you and three group members within 18 meters for two seconds that absorbs 4,000 direct damage. If the damage shield breaks, the wearer restores 5,680 oh. magic and stamina. What the... the... Oh, every, every 30 seconds. Every 30 seconds, though. Hmm. Uh, well, let's do the math real quick. 30, 15, what's 560, 5, 56, 80 divided by 15. Math, math no good. I got you. 56, 80 <laughs> divided by 15. That's like 378 mag and stam recovery. So, I mean. And I it has a better chance of proccing too, because even if it's not every 30 seconds, let's say the damage shield doesn't break. It says this uh, this effect can occur every 10 seconds if no damage shield is mm -hmm. broke. So, it doesn't have to be every 30 seconds if the shield didn't break and they didn't get the Magicka. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So, it'll that's, just reset itself. Mm -hmm. So, it's kind of RNG, but yeah. It's pretty you nice. everyone's ears. They're not oh. very happy. Oh, <laughs> well. Free holidays. <laughs> I mean, that sounds uh, interesting, though. It's not horrible. It's an interesting set. It's definitely a sustained set, which is nice. It's a sustained set with armor, so it's like kind of a tank set, too. Mm -hmm. My only thing is it's a five-piece, so it's kind of, eh, yeah. I guess, yeah, for... Uh, then you got a, a block. Ah, blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Tonk. All right. Well, let's look, read us this monster set here. Why do I always get the things? complicated words, bro? Baron it's... Baron Zedrus? Yeah, let's go with that. Whatever, dude. Alright, so this is the monster helm, and it adds maximum stamina stamina, magica, and health for its one piece. The two pieces right. when applying a status effect to an enemy. Applying a status effect to an enemy grants you a stack of Z's ambition for 10 seconds. Up to three stacks max. I'm not pronouncing that. That's cheap. When you hit three stacks, the stacks are removed and you gain three ultimate. What? On gaining ultimate, uh, you cannot gain more. What is this crap? This I'm just gonna use blood swab. <laughs> what? That's dog shit. I mean, how often are you going to apply a set? Like, are you gonna do like a like a like a double charged build? What? <laughs> right? <laughs> three ultimate. Oh yeah, I do all this work what just for three joke. ultimate, dude. I'm throwing Horrible. hands. All right. Wow. Well, uh, I guess we can write that one off. What was the other monster set again? Uh, oh yeah, the, the fire damage one. Yeah, yeah, that weird. Yeah, monster sets aren't that good. Now the monster sets kind of blow, but that AOE one does sound kind of nice. And I guess with that we can hop into the base game stuff, which is where the champion point shit starts. That's gonna be exciting. Down. That's a lot of reading. It's a lot of reading. Oh, and there's yeah, armor changes too. Yeah. I mean, right. yeah, we could go over. It. Let's start. Let's let's just dive right down here with the champion point system. In this update, we've revamped the entire champion point system with an updated UI and all new stars to choose. Now, when building your character, you have more choices than ever before. Wow! Thanks, us. The goals for this change include several factors. This new system encourages horizontal progression, okay? Champion system reduces how many passives are on a character at a time. So no no more every CP passive under mm -hmm. the sun. Expandability is essential. Uh, where's the good stuff? Constellations have been renamed to Mage Warrior... Uh, wait. <laughs> They've been renamed from Mage Warrior Thief to Warfare, Finesse, and Craft. It's kind of... It doesn't, it, it doesn't feel Elder Scrolls roleplay enough, but I'll take it. Constellations have been reduced from 9 to 3. More stars and them stars are interconnected in a way that spending enough points to unlock a bonus awarded from a star will unlock. Also unlock the path to its connected stars. Okay, so you have to you have to progress through certain things to unlock other things to put points into. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a kind of sounds like a Final Fantasy leveling up system. 
Stars within constellations are categorized into two main types, slottable and non-slottable. The non-slottable are stars which give you their noted stats and do not need further interaction, so that's our that's what we have now. And slottable, these are stars which give you their noted stats and must be added to the new champion bar. Mm -hmm. The one act. above, I remember. Someone said buckle up. It's getting crazy. <laughs> Alright, you want to take over that, this the second half? I don't want to talk the whole time. We'll We've... Talking. We've added a new champion bar to the top of the champion constellations UI. This allows you to slot up to four stars from each of the three constellations. I remember this on the the ESL live thing yesterday, whatever it was called. Mm -hmm. You can swap out any slotted star at any time while not in combat. And the cost of respecting CP is still 3,000 gold. All right. Yeah. More thank, thank God. The CP cap per update has been lifted. You can now spend up to 3,600 points. Bro, do we even have anybody above 3,000 right now? now well, we got the highest I've like seen is 2,200 or something. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I've only got 1,200, dude. I'm about to get... I'm about to level up again. I'm about mm -hmm. to keep leveling up. Dang, that's a lot. We've adjusted the rate at which you gain CP. Oh. So you gain faster. CP faster. Better be a lot Are they faster. not gonna? I, I guess they don't need to scale us since we're gonna gain CP regardless. Yeah. You can still only earn CP at level 50 or higher, but with the original CP system, you can spend as many you have already earned regardless of your level. Okay, so that hasn't changed. Yeah. All characters have had their health increased. Oh. Mm -hmm. Their base health increased to 16,000, up from. 8.7k and their magicka and stamina has been increased to 12,000 up from 7,900. Mm, so what we lost 20% buff. What does that really. Mm. If we get like 80k health builds, that's what he got. Health gonna stack. Start swinging. Episode 2 Invasion of the No CP. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But there is a little note by it. it says these changes were made to offset the loss of the 20% stat increase gain from original CP. Where spending 100 points in the tree would increase the base stat by the 20%. So the people that aren't max CP or they don't have enough CP to put 100 into it. So the people that were 300 CP below are still going to get this uh, this benefit. Fortunately. So there's gonna be 3,000 CP fuckers in PvP? Yeah, at some point. <laughs> They'll be there. Yo, Delirious with the tier 1 sub, my man. What's up, bro? Alright. Holy shit, yeah, that's kind of Still got a little bit left. Go for it. Characters now also take 50% reduced damage at base to reduce the loss of the mitigation from the CP tree. Characters now also start with 20 <laughs> weapon and spell damage at level 1 and gain an additional 20 per level. Up to 1,000 at level 50. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. I'm assuming they're not going to actually show us the CP. We'll have to look at those ourselves. In yeah, the PTS. the PTS is still down, but I'm definitely going to do a PTS stream the moment it gets up because I think that'd be I gotcha. pretty neat. I'm definitely not wasting my time installing that, so I'll just watch your stream. <laughs> <laughs> I installed it overnight. Easy clap. Gotcha. And any thoughts on this? <sighs> How's it make you feel? Man, I, I honestly don't mind any of these changes here what i want to see is the cp tree i actually yeah, want to go through and check really it out matters. yeah because that at the end of the day that's going to be the big part yeah they better be good they better mm -hmm. be good they better not just take all the fun away and give us leave us with nothing like i, <laughs> I definitely like i don't i hope that they don't have more health with this change in the end. I, know, girl, CP, yeah. I hope I, I it. I hope it's not nuts, because it was what like twenty percent. Did that twenty percent ever scale, or was it just twenty percent no, to the it, base? It's twenty percent to your base, but okay, and with say. battle spirit, it, 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 it did battle do spirit. battle spirit as well. True. So that was an immediate six k extra health in PvP. That's nuts. Rick so That's now it'll only be scaling with like heavy armor and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I mean, maybe maybe it won't be bad. I guess we'll have to see. Considering people were already stacking used to the shit ton of health. The stats, like the max yeah, stats, though, that seems kind of nice. Cause like with the fact that no one's building max stam right now, you mm -hmm. know, everyone's got weapon uh -huh. damage. Like, throw a couple extra thousand stam on our builds. That'd be kind of oh. hot. 
pretty nice. Makes up for the infused jewelry thing, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. Time to move on to armor? Armor, yep. All right, let's see. Equipped armor pieces now passively augment your character's effectiveness at a baseline in addition to their purchasable passive. Their effects are now denoted in the armor section of the skill screen and are unlocked immediately upon unlocking the skill itself. You can find their effects below. Uh, okay, I'll hit, I'll do light armor, mm -hmm. and then uh, you do I'll, medium. I'll, I'll hit the I'll hit the other three, the other two. All right. So light armor reduces your damage taken from magic by one percent per piece. Reduces the cost of roll dodge by three percent per piece, which is kind of nice. Increase okay. your movement speed while sneaking. <laughs> oh yeah, boy. Epic. Stealth my uh, plays, let's go. Reduce cost to break free by five percent per piece. That's kinda nice. That's nice. And reduce cost of bash by three percent. I guess that'll help for bashing res reses and light armor. Mm -hmm. And the penalties are increase your damage taken from physical attacks, increase the cost of block by three percent. Decrease your damage done with bash by one percent per piece one. Well, I mean, a light armor mag pliers and DKs that survive on blocking. Jesus, what is that? Fifteen percent increased block cost. Have yeah. fun wearing seven sturdy. Uh huh. My well, my question is, uh, if, if they don't if they don't explain it, do we still need like five for the line? You know what I mean? Do we still need? I guess the other passes are obviously still there, right? Yeah, I don't think they yeah. changed anything in the actual. Okay, so it's, this is literally just bonuses and penalties. Okay, that, that I guess that makes sense. Yeah. So now we're on the medium armor bonuses. Reduces the cost of sprint by one percent per piece worn. That's on top of the pass. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. I, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Reduces the cost of sneak by five percent per piece worn. Thank God. Oh yeah, dude. Elk builds, baby. Let's go. Reduces <laughs> the cost of block by. 3% per piece worn. Okay, it's so like a, a block more. Reduces your damage taken from AoE effects by 2% for 2 seconds after you roll dodge. So it's like 10% in a 5 medium build? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't say already. per piece. I'm pretty sure this is all... Oh, you're right. Hmm. Again, Maybe they just we could always test that. it. We'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Unless someone else finds it out for us. And yeah. It also increases your movement speed by two percent while immune to crowd control. Okay. Well, hold up. There's no penalties for medium armor. Yeah. I respect that. Respect. When is this patch live? When, is this, when does this come out? What was it like? No idea. March or something. You don't need a five piece anymore. Oh wow, four or three years. All See, right. that's what I was gonna ask. I okay, that's pretty that. sick, Delirious. Thanks for telling me that. I'm gonna jump into heavy armor now. Heavy armor bonuses. Reduces your damage taken from martial attacks by 1% per piece worn. Increases the amount of damage blocked by 1% per piece worn. Increases okay. damage done with bash by 3% per piece That's kind of hot. Worn. I'm going to be real with you. Like a 7 heavy build, dude, baby bash build. We're I back. know, dude. That's nice. And reduces your damage taken while immune to crowd control by 2% per piece worn. Dang! So if you wear that's five, that's ten percent. That's actually. This is gonna be really good for one vx and not anywhere near as good for like zerglings because when we're one vxing, we're CC immune pretty much a hundred percent of the time. Mm -hmm. They're only CC immune like right after we finish bursting yeah. them. So. I'm curious to see that. Th that's gonna be that's gonna be pretty damn hot. Pretty neat. Although I guess with all the uh, all the percentage mitigation being taken out of CP, it might not be as. Oh, true. That's actually but very still, true. It's definitely mm -hmm. nice. Oh, it sounds nice, but here are the penalties, sir. Oh, Increases please. your damage taken from magical attacks by 1% per piece worn. Mm -hmm. Reduces the movement speed bonus of sprint by 1% per piece worn. Increases the cost of roll dodge by 3% per piece worn. And increases the size of your detection area while sneaking no. by 10% no, per piece worn. So you you stealth potting tanks with 90k HP, I hope you get caught and bodied, bro. That's all I'm going <laughs> to say, alright? Fuck you. So all in all, these are... 
<laughs> These penalties aren't too bad, like, because my, my heavy armor builds, uh, you know, they're, they're typically block builds, and I only roll once in every, you know, may maybe once every minute or two. So that's not going to be too bad. It'll, oh, it'll kind of hurt my Magpar build, though. Ooh, oh my god. Sadness. I previewed, I looked at the next part, and dude, I'm actually kind of hyped. Okay, all right. Mr. Hype. Oh my. Really close. Let's hear it. Um, well, actually, it's not right underneath. It's like the armor. They changed the armor passives. But right above that. Uh oh. Oh, they're just talking about how the above changes were done. Okay, so this is just pretty much saying they did this for balance purposes. Light armor is stronger versus heavy, but weaker versus medium. So it's like a rock, paper, scissors effect. That's what they pretty much said that they're adding. So I guess that makes sense why medium doesn't have any penalties. Yeah. Yeah, because medium fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Your penalty Damn. is the fact that you're wearing medium. Fuck. Damn. All right. That was a good. That was a good review, guys. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> <laughs> we also Probably tried. Yeah, they just have little notes. That's okay. Let, I'm gonna go to the armor passes. All right. Oh, armor passes. Let me take over for this one. All right. You, since you got a sneak peek, all right. Let, let me let me see. Mm. All armor passives now scale per piece of armor equipped, rather than some of them granting bonuses while wearing five or more. Oh, that is kind of nice. This, along with the new penalty and bonus system, should help diversify. Think, wait. Yup. Oh. Let's so go, bro. Ooh, I like that. That's kind of that's kind of fun. Light armor, so let's see. Passive now grants 939 spell pen per piece worn. Okay. Prodigy's passive now grants spell critical 1% per piece worn rather than 5 to 10%. Oh, well, spell crit's down then. That sucks. Damn. Spell wording increase the amount of spell resistance 726 up from. Oh, so you're gonna get a lot more spell resistance. Okay, so spell crits down. Everything else is is that the same on the light armor? Let me see. Fourth or nine thirty nine. Let me get my calculator in real quick. My calculator. I mean, go to the website. So nine thirty nine <laughs> by five. I see this man doing the doing the math. Forty six ninety five. What was it? So you'd have to be wearing six pieces of light to get as much pen as you used to get, but you'd be getting more. So getting more resistance from it, right? Nine thirty-nine. Yeah. It's plus another nine thirty-nine. If you're in seven light, you're getting sixty-five seventy-three pen. Donner, I think That's heavy is still going to be nice, but medium is nicer. Right. We'll see. You can go ahead and go take out, take over the medium and heavy armor. Medium or more. Agility. This passive now grants up to 2% weapon damage per piece of medium armor worn, rather than 15% when wearing 5 pieces or more. Aww. So we weapon get what it, We would need 7 medium to, to even partially make up for what we lost. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Dexterity. Decrease the amount of weapon critical granted to up, up to 1% per piece of medium. Down... Down from 1.5 per piece with the max pass. Wow! Bro, my par with Briarheart's about to have 30% crit. <laughs> That's what I had in no <laughs> CP, bro. <laughs> That's rough. Damn, Thanks what the... the... They, they, don't, they do not want people critting. They're like, they oh, really just, don't. Just, They're really just, just indirectly Malachi. buffing Malakath. Again, maybe there will be CP that like directly lets you add crit or something or weapon damage. True, true, damage. true. All right, now get, get on to my baby. Get on to my heavy uh, armor. I need to know what they did to my baby. All right, fat ass armor. Sorry, heavy armor. My bad, wrong. <laughs> fat ass armor. Rapid mending. This passive now increases your healing taken by 1%. For every two, but I guess with the max skill points in it's one piece of heavy armor worn rather than eight percent it's a flat eight percent while wearing five pieces or more so, so mm, huh healing down and heavy. yep healing down not by much though not too much it's like three percent loss in a five it's like build. it's like when they reduce the minor like berserk and mending i'm mending um yeah all of that 
You know what I mean? But with the other changes, I'd probably go seven heavy anyway at this point. Just cause. But I don't know. Um, I mean, not bad. Not bad altogether. Resolve got nerfed. Decreases decreased the amount of armor granted. A piece of heavy armor worn to 343 max. Down oh from 363. Oh, oh wow, dude. Whoa. Holy cow. Wow, dude. Oh, you lost so much resistance. What the? 20? You lost 60. Wow. Okay. This is the one I'm afraid for. Revitalize. This passive now increases the resources restored from your fully charged heavy attacks by up to 4% per piece of heavy armor worn, rather than just 25% when wearing 5 pieces or more. So it's up in 7 heavy, down in and 6 five. or less. Yeah. Okay. I could vibe with that. Interesting. 7 heavy sounded more like a play every passing moment. All right, so what what do you think about these all in all? Personally, I think that's a I think it's I think it's good changes minus the fact that they're just dog shitting all over crit. Yeah, I I think straight up they're they're pretty nice. This really makes me wonder what the CP is though because they do try mm -hmm. usually they try. Again, I must say try. Just imagine bold letters try just on the screen. They try to balance <laughs> stuff out. I'm just Thank curious you. if the CP is going to give us more crit because damn dude I love my crit so I love my crit worth getting undaunted 10 nowadays it's worth getting undaunted 10 because now you can like mix and match armor in mm. all sorts of different fucking wacky ways like you could do three heavy four light in a mm -hmm. light for a magplar or something and like, still get I think, neat. I think that yeah, that helps with cool. diversity a bit Mm -hmm. Although I'm still sure probably gonna see a lot of people just going seven heavy, unfortunately. I'm gonna start swinging. <laughs> all right, mm. all right. Pretty, pretty nice though. Let's take a look at these advanced stats here. You can now view a. Di oh, okay. So this is this doesn't affect you, Mister Mister PC, Mister Add-ons. This is basically us console players now get to see things like our pen and PC shit on our character sheets, which we wouldn't we weren't able to before. <laughs> Oh, I had that like yeah, six yeah, years ago, bro. What do you mean? Yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Fast travel outside homes, whatever, furnishing and furnishing. house guest preview improvements. Oh boy, new homes, new furnishings. Look at that. Exciting stuff. Exciting, exciting. Battleground. What new antiquities? There is one new antiquity, but it's not a not an equipable. Scorching Chaos Ball emote, Chaos Ball Victory Dance, Chaos Ball Boom emote. Okay. I love some Chaos Ball, huh? I like my Chaos Ball too. It's probably my favorite one, honestly. Let's 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 read about this mail shit real quick. Mm -hmm. System mail system mails will now remain in your box for a limited time. After which they'll be deleted. Mails sent by NPCs, mails containing collectors edition rewards. Uh, that's that's pointless. Fuck that. <laughs> that's just things sent by the game. Oh well. Okay. What's this down at combat and gameplay? Oh, hold up, hold up. In addition, for mouse and keyboard mode only, we added headers to separate player sent mails and system mails. They finally, they finally integrated tabs or something for the mails. Hi, get get wrecked, get wrecked, console boy. Hey. Hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so they removed five piece bonuses they did remove five piece bonuses and now they've changed it to where it's like a it's per piece so mm -hmm. like you get some spell pen for each piece you have as opposed to you know the other having having to have the requirement of five pieces mm -hmm. so now you're always going to get a passive but they nerfed a lot of the five piece caps yeah they they Damage will go back down a little bit more, unless the CP make up for it. And we're well, getting said, a lot of extra health. Yeah, the proc sets in mid-February being that's always inspiring. Nerf, or gonna, or not I nerf, like to see that extra health, nice. baby. You know it. What's this? Champion system tooltips and the champion point system are still under adjustments. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is basically them saying, "Sorry, this shit's not gonna work right right out the gate." Just so you know. <laughs> Champion point star shield master is not properly applying to crystallized shield. Yeah, this stuff's not going to make any sense to us until we see the CP. Let's see. I skipped all the way down to combat and gameplay. 
Yeah, I'm making my way down there real quick. Just making sure I don't miss anything that may potentially be. Yeah, I'm just important. saying dungeon changes and stuff right now. Yeah. It's a lot of dungeon changes. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Combat and abilities. You want to go ahead and hit us with that general? I'm going to turn the music up just a little bit because I like the music. Gaining Quick. resistance for a particular damage type no longer grants immunities to its respective status effect. An oh. adjusted racial passive that once granted immunities to make up for this loss. Huh. Fuck you, roly poly night blades. My claw will poison you now, you little bitches. Stupid head! <laughs> Fucking Mon stupid head. Monsters no longer have a random chance to apply status effects, such as, you know, burning, etc. From their attacks naturally, they will only apply them through intentional means when designing stuff. So Does if they breathe fire, I'm assuming it's gonna give you a burning effect. Probably. I hope okay. this applies to guards though, because random ass status effects. I'm pretty sure that's where lots of the glitch ones come from. That makes sense. Fix many issues where abilities, item sets, and passives that dealt damage had the incorrect chance to proc their respective status effect. In most cases, this was a reduction for 10%. Yeah. Okay, okay, there you go. Okay. I was like, I need an example. Okay. Huh. You can find out more. Blah, 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 blah. Fix an issue where casting another ability right before a failed ground targeted ability could cause you to become unable to cast other ground targeted abilities. Good. That's for the PvE boys. Good. <laughs> well, I've felt that before. I'm like, bruh. Okay. Player source mm. synergies will now attempt to call their animations when you activate other abilities to reduce animation errors when utilizing them in tandem with weaving and other ability usage. Werewolves no longer animate when activating fire source synergies. Well, no. Alright, there's our first werewolf nerf, boys. And hey, fuck you, werewolves! Yeah, 40k HP! Headasses. They haven't, they haven't, <laughs> they haven't merged them, Hyena. PC and Local console. Healing abilities no and sets that were bound to area of effect were not properly detected as healing over time. Oh, goodness. What the... Numerous issues or certain bonuses could unintentionally apply their effect to hunts. abilities or sets. We need an example of that Nerd. one, but I don't know. Alright, let's take a look at these buffs and debuffs. Buffs and debuffs, here we go. New! What the? New, new status effects for the following damage types. Okay, so finally, Stamp Boys are getting some love. We got a, a new, we got a bleed. And a physical one and a magic damage I eh? whatever Ooh. bleed damage is a chance to apply hemorrhaging it deals slightly weaker damage than burning over four seconds and applies minor mangle that's gonna be fucking annoying i'm gonna get my tiny health bar are orbs fixed yeah. i don't know i don't pee -pee. physical damage is a chance to apply sundered it deals minor damage and applies minor breach so everyone's gonna be having minor breach now wow i don't know how i feel about that if that's the case, can we just buff the damage on Puncture then? <laughs> please? True? Sure, please? Magic damage is a chance to apply overcharge, deals minor damage, and applies magic of steel. Okay, that's kind of hype. So we can get magic of steel on our Magplar just from poking shit now. Hmm. That'd be good for non LA Dran builds. Yeah. But other than that. Yeah, the, the two stam ones, those sound kind of cancerous. We're going to get Mangle for Dude, the tiny health bar. Imagine just getting breach. jumped by a Zerg and already dealing with 15 dots and debuffs on you. Now they're just adding more. Well, bad. we think about it like this. Like, these, except for, like, minor Mangle, every, all this shit is already going to be on us anyway. This is just good. This will be added to our arsenals now without mm -hmm. having to slot it's these easier skills. Easier access, in. yeah. So at least we got that going for us. And then let's, we got some bug fixes for the status effects here. Fix an issue where some status effects, such as disease, chilled, and concuss, could fail to be recognized as status effects. That spaghetti code, baby. Fix an issue where some immobilizes were improperly labeled as status effects. Minor brittle. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Fix an okay. issue That's where this debuff could not be applied via the chill status effect if a target had a longer duration of minor maim active. All right. Well, that does it for status effects. Check. 
Interesting. You wanna wanna tell us about Dragonite? Dragonite changes, baby. Art and flame line, lava whip, specifically the morph, molten whip. Fix an issue where the weapon and spell damage from this passive did not appear in your character sheet. I recognized that literally yesterday. I've been playing <laughs> Magni K a lot, and I was literally looking at my character sheet, like using um, the other flame abilities. And bro, like I was like, I'm trying to see what my chit cap sets are. That's good. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Not a big change, but a, I guess a little bug fix. Draconic mm -hmm. power, dark talons. This ability and choking talons morph now deal flame damage rather than magic damage. The ignite synergy also deals flame damage rather than magic. Okay, that's pretty cool. Good change yeah. in my opinion, especially for something like Mag DK. Mm -hmm. Hurt the vampires a little more too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, fuck blue heads. <laughs> Earth and <laughs> Earth and heart. Shattering rocks morph of petrify. This morph now heals you when the stun ends on the enemy rather than causing the enemy's next attack to heal the target yeah that was weird as fuck i don't know who thought of that originally that was <laughs> weird that's okay whatever i mean this is not awful. bad though it's helpful you better have like a dawn breaker for the next attack instead of just like a light attack you know what i mean mm -hmm. or leap or something man that was just weird this will also fix numerous issues where the heal belong to the attacker and use their stats rather than yours what Oof, dude. <laughs> you, you hit a tame the you hit a same guy and they get you with that 200 heal <laughs> god damn it this wow. might be good like i'm about to play mag decay in a little bit so i feel like i'd probably use shattering rocks and talons because i'm gonna be using talons mm -hmm. so why do i need another another root so this would be nice just for an extra heal i hope it's a good i hope it's like a decent sized heal just a little bit you know let's just stun in so they break free it'll heal you that's nice yeah a buff not a nerf that'd be great all right we got a massive list of necromancer nerfs here giant man about wow. time wow. fixed an issue where this ultimate and its morphs could return as damage over time in some cases fantastic i'm gonna read nightblade <laughs> well, let's see assassination mark target fixed an issue where this ability and morph sourcing of a major breach will be removed the ability was recast Mid-February, Kitty, it'll happen. Two effects instead of one, oh, so it's going to be more annoying to purge off. And that's it. Shadow, Consuming Darkness. What is Consuming Darkness? Is that the ultimate? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Heal. Uh, the, the heal from the ult no one uses will now tick every second, as opposed <laughs> to half second. Thank God. Surprise attack. This morph now applies the Sundered effect on hit rather than reduce. So, Nightblades get minor maim. Right off the bat. Is so it, now... You mean Breach? Uh, yeah, Minor Breach. It's so minor now breach, they get... Right? Oh. Is that more or less? It depends Five on the percent. target. But, on average... Uh, what is it? like? It's like 3k for Sundered now, because it'll be Minor Breach. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. It really does depend on the target, then. Well, that doesn't mean they can't stack all three of these things together anymore, mm -hmm. though, which is nice. Yeah. And I guess that means Nightblades that are that's... running uh, Pierce Armor are just wasting their time now. I wonder I wonder how I'm going to... I don't know, because I run Ravager on my Nightblade right now. I wonder how that's going to... I think it'll still work the that. same way. It might actually... I mean, it works when you use your surprise attack, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's probably the same exact shit. But now it's a, it's still a status, it's a status effect, so that's what makes me question it. Mm, yeah. I guess I guess we'll see. All everything yeah, gets tested. So. <laughs> and then we got Cripple Debilitate. This morph now applies the overcharge status effect after each tick, rather than mm. applying minor magic of steel. It already gave magic of steel. Now it's just doing it in a different way and making mm. and making the the server do even more tracks. So that's cool. I don't think I don't know anybody that used that, but it could be good, I guess. Even though magic <laughs> is still kind of blows now. <laughs> yeah. All right, you want to lead us into sorcerer? Uh, oh, I I heard mag sword can start yawning. Sorry. Um. Sorcerer, dark magic, crystal shard, reduce the damage of this ability 
and the crystal fragments morph by approximately two percent to match the oh, proper yeah, range baby. cast time standard. Yeah, you doo doo heads, take that. Ooh, two percent. That's a whole twenty damage. Ooh, baby. wow. Daedric Mines. <laughs> Daedric Mines. What is this? 2016, dude. I got killed by 14k Daedric Mines yesterday while I was trying to 1vx because I fucking leapt right into the center of them and they all blew the fuck up. Get body, dude. <laughs> I will say Daedric Tomb, Tomb, whatever. I tried using that one time as like, I guess kind of like how people use the the throwing trap version. And I will mm -hmm. say I've hidden like 14k on people before just by. Uh, chunking it on them but you have to aim it it's so yeah. weird yeah i understand that so i'm so not surprised issue. it blew you up so the issue fix an issue where the ability and its morphs were considered aoe attacks aoe attacks what the fuck despite only hitting one target per mine okay i guess that makes sense so maybe it was being i i guess major evasion was fucking up the damage of that fix an issue where these abilities could return as god damage in some cases what Fantastic. Uh, thank God for that. Okay. Daedric Summoning. Daedric Curse. Fix an issue with this ability and its morphs to cause your next animation to hitch or jitter. Oh. Smoother animation canceling on mags. Yeah, so yeah, I guess yeah. fine. That's a good thing. Storm Calling. Overload. Fix an issue where the heavy attack. Wow. <laughs> okay. The heavy attack from this ultimate and its morphs <laughs> could return as dot damage in some cases. I guess but it doesn't I make it was dot damage. I thought it was dot damage too, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, we got a developer note in that in Templar. Oh, oh. Are we gonna ah. fight over who reads this? Ah, we... no, nah, it's okay, bro. Take it over. I just read sword. Do I'm doing it. I ain't looking. <laughs> Burning light. This pass, this passive now has a three second window between each stack, rather than a 1.1 second window to reduce the cadence. So burning light, more, 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 more burning lights. More lights of burning. That's nice. Good. Three second window. Okay. More controllable. I like it. Yes. Dawn's Wrath. Solar Flare. Reduce the cast time of this ability in Dark Flare to 0.8 seconds. Reduce the damage done. Okay. Oh. Reduce the cost. So it was already kind of a dead skill. Now it's just beyond dead. 21%. Yeah. I mean, that's, okay. That's but I better see that for good. fucking snipe. Okay. Oh, please. That's not going God. Here. You're right. It's got a developer note here. Similar to other cast times, we've taken the approach for a quicker cast time to help this ability easier to weave in the one second global cooldown. This should also be to help reduce burst. Oh, thank God. When combined with other high hitting attacks, but help the DPS go up and making it smoother. So this is like the only burst ability Magpla really had left. I don't know. I don't know what other... Uh, d when combined with other high hitting attacks, what other high hitting attacks? That is a joke. What? I'm restoring light. At, where was my uh, where was my uh, where's my power and light buff? By the way, I, I know, it. right? Light Weaver fixed an issue where this passive did not properly grant its stated armor when you were channeling rite of passage. Thank God, that was that's my biggest concern. I'm glad they fixed that. I wanted my armor when I was using my Oshittle that didn't really save me in nine times out of ten anyway. Maybe that's why. Maybe now it'll save me What's up, five or six times out of the ten. What All the right. fuck? You want to hit Warden Yay. and Bo? Because I see a massive section for Snipe down there. I'm crying. Oh, oh my core got tangled. All <laughs> right. Warden, Winter's Embrace, Frozen Gate. Fix an issue where the damage from this ability and its morphs can return as dot damage. Who even uses this? Whatever. Irrelevant. Weapon. Irrelevant. Oh, oh my god, I see a giant. Yeah, There's actually yeah, a snipe. That, right? Oh my I'm, god, bow. I'm gonna try not to look at it. Heavy attacking with the bow has a completely new reload animation that is faster and smoother than before. With a hundred percent less jitters, exclamation point. The Thank power god. of a sober mind does wonders. On the battlefield. Heck W. Alright. <laughs> I'm waiting for some more memes. I love when they slip the memes in here, man. <laughs> Accuracy. This passive now grants critical chance rather than weapon critical. What huh? Oh, so I think they might have reworked the wake without like telling anybody. They I think they got well no, because there was still a number up there before. Yeah, I don't know. 
Rank two now Confusing. grants six percent critical chance rather than five. Cool. Snipe. Here we go, baby. <laughs> Reduce the cast time of these abilities to zero point eight seconds, down from one second. This ability and its morphs now have a much faster, smoother animation to support their new cast time. Reduce the damage done by 21%. Got the Dark Flood treatment. Reduce the base enough. cost to 2700, down from 3200. Increase the travel speed to slightly help to reduce the ability to fire off multiple projectiles before the original projectile landed good that's what i'm talking about baby oh my god dude that better help with desyncs bro if not i'm gonna just start swinging i mean between the new animation and this i feel like we might get some some fixes this but i feel like cloak room. is also a really big part of why the desyncs happen to begin with true but i think that like with a new animation that is faster and smoother and uh, uh, a shorter uh, shorter cast time as well as uh, quicker travel time, we might get less these things. I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling good about that. We'll, we'll see. Well, there's, there's a developer comment. Would you like to... Uh... Oh, actually, I want to read this Focus Aim morph real quick. Um, Focus Aim morph. Instead of now giving damage increase per rank, and now it just decreases the cost of Focus Aim. So, I so guess... No extra damage. What is what was it like four four percent damage increase at the end or something three yeah, percent I can't remember it would be something an extra like four percent damage so now it just reduces the cost which is a one which is fine the more damage we take away from these snipers the better mm -hmm. developer comment similar to the solar flare changes this update and crystal shards blah, blah blah we wanted to make these abilities less bursty in nature while helping their fluid usage in rapid succession making them less potent at combining into deadly alpha strike attacks. And more potent while using rotation. Deadly alpha strike attacks. Be careful those deadly alpha strike attacks. Next build video. Deadly <laughs> alpha strike attacker, baby. Let's go. Okay. GG Zoss. GG. Alright, dual wield. Let's see what they're doing to dual wield. Blade cloak. Deadly cloak. Yeah, Reduce the visual and audio nice. effects of this ability to once every two seconds rather than every second to make it less obnoxious very important note that it will still deal damage every second fantastic okay i mean i guess that's fine it's whatever rend thrive in chaos that's the ultimate yeah this morph's hitbox now more accurately matches its visual effects resulting in a significant area of effect increase it might actually be usable now i mean i feel like yeah that's one of the reasons that like i tried it when they first brought this thing out and i could never hit a goddamn thing with it so i couldn't either i even tried the other morph that heals you if you could land that on like six people, the heal is actually ridiculous. But you gotta hit them. <laughs> gotta be in like a tower or something, you know? They changed Twin Blade and Blunt. Ooh. Oh. Axes Ooh. now increase your critical damage and healing done per axe and do not apply a bleed. Ooh. Thank you for following me, man. Social. Mwah. Love you. So that's wow. cool. No more bleed dots on the dual wield. I mean, that let's might go. kind of piss off some dual wield dudes. Let's, let's and there's box. a big ass German Shepherd I've never seen in the backyard. What is he doing back there? My Daggers ass. now grant less critical chance than they did before by a percent and a half. Jesus, man. They do not want anyone to crit. They don't like crit, dude. <laughs> Maces now grant. Flat penetration oh, no. as opposed to percentage. Well, hold on, hold on. 1650. Let me, let me pull out the calculator. Hold on. So I, I'm bad at mental math. 16. I'm assuming we're probably going to see these exact same changes in 2H. That's 3,300 uh, pen. Which, low key, that's pretty good because I'd say the average you were getting from a mall after, or, you know, two maces or a mall after, uh, after your penetration was taken into account was somewhere between with 2 and 4k is. so that's kind of you know taking the middle lane it's not bad oh. and now swords grant weapon damage hold mm -hmm. up 142 weapon damage per sword as opposed to three to six percent what damage done that's kind of hot but so we're gonna have to do some numbers they killed your build sorry to hear that we're gonna have to do some numbers to see what's better between a a nern honed mall or a sharpened mall and a like nern honed or sharpened sword. 
But I man, that's cool. I like to see more weapon damage. Weapon damage makes me makes me feel good inside. You know, critical damage done. If if we're getting rid of bleeds, I mean they already fucking killed them anyway. Oh good lord! Look at the spoiler. I gotta agree with what previously what this passive was too binary in terms of which was viewed as the best. So we've made some adjustments to make it more clear as well as more universally helpful. We've opted to remove the passive bleed chance as it was the only effect that could carry over after activating, making it an almost guaranteed pick. No one really fucked with them except for Zerglings. <laughs> and PvE, I guess. Maces also felt too punishing and awkward as they became weaker the more you reduce the target's resistances. Yeah, I have always kind of felt like that. Sure. Some with a flat bonus instead. Swords often didn't scale the way they appeared and seemed stronger than they were so we moved to a more easily discernible power increase. Additionally, all of these effects now apply to any attack that rather than any only martial-based attacks to assist hybrid builds. I didn't even know that was the case. I didn't oh, wait, know that no, was yeah, thing. like physical penetration and stuff. Well, now it's just armor. Wait, we can use maces on Magplar. Oh, hold up. Magplar now. Yeah. Huh. That's hot. Okay. Oh, grr. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, because right, it's right. Pen. Yeah. It looks like Pen's going to be new, the new way to go because swords went from damage done to straight weapon damage. Yeah. So, looks I'm... like no more swords on Mag? Question mark? <laughs> Probably not. Probably yeah. going to see these maces. Someone said mace bomber. I'd like. Mace I'd, bomber. I'd love to see it. Dude, I have, <laughs> I have like burning spell weave maces and mauls and shit. Just in case oh, anything you know ever changes, dude. <laughs> dude, I'm I'm really hoping there's some one hand and shield shit. I just there's not. God damn it. Oh, there's not. What about yeah. damage when I want shield? All right. You oh. can uh, you want to read our uh, two handed Handy. down through werewolf there? Heavy weapons. We work this passive to grant the following bonuses. Bonuses. Axes now grant up to eight percent critical damage and healing done rather than just having the bleed proc. Maces now grant up to 3300 armor pen rather than just ignoring up to 20% of the target's physical resist. Swords now grant up to 284 weapon and spell. Okay, so it is weapon and spell damage. Mm -hmm. So for the one handers, they just said weapon, so I guess it does get both. Okay, good, nice. Rather than just increasing damage done by 6%. Okay, so they got the same treatment as the other one handers, nice. Yeah, so we might see. Nightblades start to use axes. Maybe? Depending on the build. Just that's for the, as much crit damage as possible. Because 8% crit damage is kind of. Dude, that's kind of fat. Good bit. That's actually pretty fat. Yeah, because I feel like. Is there like an actual calculation for damage percentage from armor? I guess when someone said it was like 660 was equivalent to about 1%. So would that uh, be like 5% armor penetration? No thing? idea. <laughs> well, either way. We're definitely gonna see some people mixing it up now, depending on builds. That's kind of nice to see. You can, you can continue. Let's oh. let's hear about the uh, the vampires and the, the werewolves oh. and the stuff. Thank you for the follow, by the way, GMX. Soul magic, soul strike. Fix an issue where this ultimate and its morphs could fail to trigger other sets that had wow combat requirements. If this was your first cast to initiate combat, huh? Fantastic. Yay. Vampire. Misform. Oh, no changes. Oh, my God. No changes. Read it. Read this the first thing. Fix an issue with this ability and its morphs would cancel themselves while, while falling. Oh, I thought, fuck. I thought I was going to. Hold on. Trash. Fix an issue where these abilities could fail to grant proper CC immunity in some cases. Trash. Okay. Fix an issue where attempting to use this ability after using a cast time ability would cause you to enter and immediately leave misform. Okay, that's, that's a little the triggering. one I was looking for. That's, that's triggering. the one that I want right there. Because my magplar, dude, I would try so hard. I'm pretty sure that counts for things even like honor the dead. Just pretty much doing anything. And it would like. I hope this fixes the bug with misform. I don't, I don't know if you were wanting a misform nerf or anything, because I know some people do. But I just want the fucking thing to work, and I hope this makes it work because I dropped, like, I stopped using misform on my That's magpar okay. just because it didn't Hello, fucking like nerf, work, and I could never I... get into misform when I needed to, and I just get fucking dogpiled after six failed casts and die. 
I got I got used to not running this form because even running it back then, again back then like 2016 2017, when I was vamp on anything, I just didn't find it reliable enough. That makes sense. I used to like it when they applied the four seconds of major expedition directly to you, so I just kind of tap it real quick to get my to get some legs, you know. I like that. I like that a whole lot. I'm kind of mad they took that away. But anyway, I think this is uh this is one we were waiting for coming up next. If you wanna dive on in, Warwolf. First scenes bounty. First scenes fortitude morph. Reduce the health and stamina recovery cap of this morph to 333, down from 666. Whoa, hail Satan. That's a fancy number. Pounce. Brutal Pounce Morph. Fixing the issue where Brutal Carnage's god damage was not properly inheriting the damage increase from Carnage's rank up progression. This will result in approximately 3%, 3.3% damage increase of this morph speed. Meh. Meh. This passive now. Okay, wait. Savage. Savage strength. This passive now grants major resolve on both ranks rather than increasing your armor by up to 10k. This was done to tone Thank down God. some of the staggering defenses that werewolves could obtain with little to no effort. Yes. See, That's even Zoss said little to no effort, you fuck. Exactly. What's going on, jokes? <laughs> but yeah, like 4,000 less armor on, on werewolves? Like, it's, it's not enough. Like, we still need some more work, but mm. that's a start. That's a start. World of Transformation. No 5 million health where uh, health recovery build. Pack Leader Morph. The dire wolves summoned by this ultimate no longer taunt enemies and cause them to behave erratically. <laughs> they fucking, they cause me to behave erratically when they <laughs> fucking decide to exist in the dude, real world. seriously. Because they cannot be targeted. God, dude. <laughs> I hate that shit. Brr, brr. Okay. All right, what do we have to say about these werewolf changes? Wait, More wait. changes. I mean, it looks like they get, they get, they're getting less health recovery from that first one. They're getting half of whatever that was. I don't even know what the what the hell that is, but less health recovery on mm -hmm. on a on werewolf. That's good. And then four thousand less armor, so less tanky, less Alessian. Like I'm I'm here for it, dude. And then less damage from a skill nobody's using properly anyway. That's fine. <laughs> Let's jump on into these fucking guild abilities, shall we? We got a. Banish the Wicked got change. Now grants one to three ultimate whenever you kill an enemy while you have a fighter's guild ability slotted rather than oh. restoring. So that means you can't just go and kill a couple zombies to fucking max out your uh, your ultimate anymore though because you have to have a fighter's guild True. ability slotted on your bar when True. you kill someone to get three ultimate. Well, so much for that. Well, I have Dawnbreaker on most of my builds. Oh, I'm okay. Well, that's good. At least you'll get an extra three when you're killing players. Yeah. Mage's Guild. That's the big card for me. Yeah. Mage's Guild. Entropy. Fix an issue where this ability and its morph could cause your next animation to hit your jitter. Thank God. I Spell symmetry. Yes. You, have you experienced that? Uh, I haven't experienced it, but I've watched my friend Johnny the King experience that, and it's the most AIDS-looking oh. thing ever. This was I've a while back, though. I don't, know, I don't think it still runs it, realize, but... honestly. Thank God. Considering fucking half of Magplar's abilities jitter and glitch to begin with. Regardless, right? <laughs> <laughs> Spell Light symmetry fixed an issue where casting this ability can desync your magicka bar. That sounds awful. Wow, sounds wait, horrible. what? Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tank ability. So no one's using it in PvP, but it, that, it just sounds unfortunate. I don't know what I'd do if my magicka was desynced. <gasps> oh, oh. Let's see. Ooh. Alliance War Assault. Continuous attack. This passive now always grants major gallop. That's kind of hot. I like that. I like it. Rapid maneuver. This ability and its morphs no longer give major gallop on cast. It is no longer necessary. What the fuck is it going to do? Give and now it forces you to grab a resource to get that buff. But you don't have no more getting stuck with rapids in combat, though. The only reason to use rapids now is straight up for the major expedition. Yeah, it's gonna suck to get out of my fucking gate when I'm gated, though. True. I mean, it's good though. Uh, we're gonna have less people. Oh my god, I, those people just want to run the fuck away from you true. on their mount, 
and you're you don't have rampants on their bar, but they do with their 50 k HPS, mm-hmm. and you're just like, I'm gonna catch you when they're like, oh, no, you're not, and they hit rampants. You're still gonna feel that when they have taken a resource and you haven't, and they have the buff nope. and you don't. Fuck them. You I'm know that Zerg? Every, you ever walk up to time. a resource that you want to flip, but the Zerg is there, oh my God. and they all yes. just got major gallop, and you're on your mount, and you're like, oh fuck, I need to get up out of here. Nope, they're after your ass. You're dead. You don't have major gallop, but they do. <laughs> What's going on, Metal Mania? That's going to be rough. They should keep Major Gallop like, on Rapids, like in my it. opinion. He says it's going to make Sky Shard hunting in Cyrodiil more AIDS. More annoying. Oh, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> wait. We got some racial Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what, what was that? Was that in what, the what overworld that? outside of Cyrodiil. As... <gasps> oh, oh, my God. Imagine grinding Mage's Guild. Oh... Oh, thanks for saying that out loud. Oh, wait, wait. No. As long as you have... Co- oh, wait. Oh, wait. The passive from continuous attack always grants you major gallop, though. So now I'm confused. Is it only when you have the buff, or is it just a straight passive that it adds on to you? Like, that? I'm... I guess you have to check on the PTS. We'll, we'll find out. Just to read it. If it gives you... Like, if you always have it up, and active just from having the passive that's cool that'd be that'd be the best of the best because then cool. you do not have to worry about slotting the shit anymore mm-hmm. you just have it and then no one would ever be faster than anybody unless you have a faster mount i can get behind that that'd, like that'd be sick. Yeah. Pretty sick. although it will be a lot more annoying to like gap close spam people that are trying to mount away from you <laughs> true <laughs> all right uh was it who was just reading I, dude, I don't even fast. know. I'll I'll go through it online. Right, Racial passives. Yeah, take that, you racist. We have racist in here. Stupids. Slightly adjusted some of the racial yeah. passives now that CP has been reworked. And a few standards within our set bonus efficiency system have changed. Or uh, blah, 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 blah. Argonian change, dude. <laughs> Argonian resistance. I, I love Argonians. This passive no longer grants immunity to disease status effect and once again grants an equal amount of poison resistance. Okay. Resourceful passive. This passive now also grants 1000 stamina, but it reduces the resources restored to 3125 down from 4k. They keep on hitting my poor Argonian potion passive. Fine. Good thing I haven't played Argonian forever, but... Imagine playing Argonian? What the... Guardian's fun. It's work. It's really good for some builds. <laughs> specific, like very specific niche builds, like fucking like potion abuse builds. Potion abuse builds. Fuckers. Extra max stamina on Argonian is not bad though. Yeah, yeah. I always like that. They Bread. are kind of a what's it called? Uh, kind of a hybrid anyway. Sorry, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Bread S- spell attunement increase the magicka regen range from this yeah. passive to one thirty, up from one hundred. Okay, slight buff to sustain. That's okay. nice. Tiny, tiny it. buff. Well, I'll take it though. Yeah, I agree. Dark Elf. Dynamic. Increase the magic and stamina ga- granted from this passive to 1910 up from 1875. These oh, random-ass numbers, dude. Let me get that 30 stamina, baby. <laughs> the this next one is kind of hot, though. Passive. Resist flame. <laughs> this passive no longer grants immunity to burning status effect. Oh. But you get increased flame resistance up to 4,620. Up from 2,310. I literally doubled. Wow. I'll take it. I mean, burning status effect, though. That thing fucking... That hurts. Especially if you're on a vampire. That's Burning's probably like... How long does that last? Like, four seconds? That's that's like a 10k dot, dude. Something like that. It's a nasty dot. But my Magplar is going to be able to cleanse that bitch off. It's all right. Mm -hmm. It's not going to hurt as bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Continue. Continue, please. Hi, El. Elemental talent. This passive now also grants weapon and spell damage rather than just spell damage. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Spell recharge. Reduce the restore on this passive to 625 down from 640. Tiny rework. This passive now works from any ability use rather than just class abilities. Okay. So I was actually talking about this with some people oh. the other day. And I'm not sure... This, I think this just is supposed to be like an off stat sustain thing, right? Yeah. Like this. Yeah. It just. Yeah. So this would be a pretty solid choice now for like a lot of shit, actually. Like if you like, I feel like Mag D- or Stam DK 
could low key use this to be honest. Like I'm just I'm just I'm just throwing that out there because you know Mag sustain on Sandu kid kind of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know though. It's it's an interesting change giving weapon damage to high elf and making dark elf literally a useless class. A race except for the spell or the burning resistance or fucking flame resistance. Continue, continue. Please. Imperial please. role players. Red diamond. This passive no longer restores health, magicka, and stamina whenever you deal direct damage. It increased increased the cost of all abilities. Wait, 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 cost wait. Reduction. Cost reduction for all abilities to six percent. Up from three percent. Huh. That's not bad. That, that fucking so restore a more simple was change. Like three hundred, right? It was like three hundred every five Dude, seconds. It was dog. Kind of shit. Six percent reduction to all things. What's, what's up, myth? Yeah, nice, actually. that's a pretty good change. I think that's a solid ass change. Yeah, I'll take it for sure. I I, I like it better than than what it offered before. Still don't have the clock. Mm -hmm. Still don't have the race and don't really care for it. But still, <laughs> so better than Kaji. <laughs> I don't know. We got some Kajit changes. Let's take a peek. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Meow Meow Ambush. <laughs> Increase the critical damage and healing done from this passive to 12% up from 10. God damn. Yeah. Okay. okay. Lunar Blessings passive. Increase the maximum health, magicka, and stamina granted from this passive to 915. Up from a 25. They almost got a whole hundred resources, boys. That's crazy. That's crazy. Blah, 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 because he's still duty. Oh, no. I'm going to go over Nord, and I'm making you take over the rest. Word. Nord. Resist Frost. This passive no longer grants immunity to shield status effect. Oh, I was just getting used to that. Increase the Frost Resistance, however, to 4620, up from 2310. Nice. The next one's going to make you cry. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Reduce the armor granted from this passive to 2600 down from 3960. I said it should have been nerfed, but it did not have to happen. Fuck! The rips dead right now. Dead. Fuck! I hate to see you go, Nor. Why you're about to see the saddest dab in existence. It's okay. It's fine. We'll make it work. <laughs> fine. <laughs> That's what it was. At. It's. Uh, it's, it's only like a thousand two hundred. That's okay. So. My master sword and board's still gonna be OP as fuck, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so what? <laughs> this is like two percent. It's fine. It's fine. We'll make it work. All right, I'm taking over. Orc. This is for the uh, for the Fingrush fanboys. Brawny. Reduce the maximum stamina granted by this passive to one thousand, down from two thousand. Get fucked. This pa Swift Warrior. Jesus. This passive now grants weapon and spell. Everything is just going to be a, a hybrid now. Hybrid? Yeah. Unflinching Rage. This passive now heals for 2,000 health when you deal direct damage once every four seconds rather than 600 health. So 2125 health. I think they adjusted that to make sure Battle Spirit would still give you 1,000 health from that. Hmm. So, I mean, that's kind of dog shit still, but I mean, that's it's an increase. Fix an and it's issue also damage in general, not just weapon attacks. Didn't mean to interrupt yeah. you, sorry. No, no, all good, dude. So, What's up, hold up. Gotta Just pull up the couch here, right? One second. Oh, well, I mean, mid-February for so, a little bit, yeah. If we cut I'm that in go to one. adjust for battle spirit, right? Let's just call it 1,000. Oh, and okay. then we divide that by two. So that's about 500 health recovery worth right there. Yeah. God damn, it's actually it. not that bad. Yeah, I fuck with it. Especially since they used to just get flat HP regen. I'll take it, dude. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be stat-based? Maybe. Red Guard, Adrenaline Rush. Increase the stam restored from this passive to 1,005 up from 9, or 950. And this passive now procs on any damage rather than direct damage. Oh, god damn. It's still kind of a dead race, but we'll take it. Yep. And then the Roly Boys, Wood Elves. Movement speed and armor pen granted from this passive no longer require you to roll dodge and instead are okay, permanent idea? effects of reduced. The movement speed down to five percent though that's fine and and gives it reduced the armor penetration from 1500 to 950. okay all right so they don't get to be quite as fast and this passive their resist affliction no longer grants immunity to poisons once hold on my brain isn't working <clears throat> 
This passive no longer grants immunity to the poison status effect, and once again, once again, it grants an equal amount of disease resistance. So I'm assuming it's like how Nord had the frost and stuff. They just doubled the resistance that it gave. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So who who even gets disease? Status? Well, I just like, chugged that carry. So what else can get minor defiled now? That's nice. Good. I guess. And is that everything? Oh, they work, reworked some Seth down here too. Do you oh! Want to continue taking a break, or do you want to go ahead and start with these sets? Um. We, 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 no, we we gotta go over them, bro. They're all the crit sets. No, I mean like I'm saying, like, do you want to start reading, or you want me to go ahead? And read? I'll, I'll read some of it. I'll, I'll read some. All right, of you it. go ahead. You go ahead. So take, take overall, they reduced the amount of critical chance rating granted per set bonus to 657, which was three percent. Down from 833, which was 382.8 percent. Okay, can I just say I don't give a shit about this 657 833, bro. Just tell me it gives me three percent. For God's sake, yeah. Like I hate that. Like whose idea was that? Like, there's some absolutely ridiculous. Uh, anything on DK is not really anything good or different. Really, anything changed? <laughs> I think Zelly just got so happy, broke his fucking broke himself. Are you okay with that? No, huh? what Nani? You good? You good? Yeah, just kind of like spasmed. Like you sound like you kind of lost it. But if we could just throw some actual percentages on there, there's some like long ass algorithm you have to plug into a calculator to figure out how much this fucking shit actually is depending on your level. It's some weird, weird shit. It's crazy. I don't know why whose idea that was, but anyway, Zelly, please lead us into the sets. So oh, again, wait. all crit passives pretty much. Or, or the sets they all got nerfed they dropped from 3.8 to down to three percent and this affected a lot of uh, pretty much all of the sets so anything that gave crit example berserk and warrior reduced the weapon critical granted for sat to 241 down from 305 again everything pretty much just made mm -hmm. or just got adjustments honestly like leviathan mother sorrow um, unfortunately, Mechanical Cutie got a fucking nerf, increased the cooldown of the set to 21 what seconds, up from 18. That is stupid. That is stupid. <laughs> stupid. Why? Why Mechanical Acuity? Bro, people were barely starting to use that set again. Man, crit already sucks in comparison Man, to Mal. Man, away. <laughs> Man. What are they doing? Why are they doing this? How is my stamp block going to kill? Like, was, I'm going to have to start using Malakath. I was stamp just block. about to use Mechanical on a stamp block, dude. God damn it, man. So anything that had crit lost a decent amount of crit. If it's just a one piece bonus, example, Slime Crawl, reduce the one piece bonus of crit chance to 771 down from 833 still meh <laughs> like it, it is, uh, it's, just a, it's just a bunch yeah. of adjustments some of them got buffs little, little, little tiny changes yeah i'm just yay woohoo it's nothing okay just just throw this out there and they the zoss really said fuck crit this patch they really do they don't want anybody to crit yeah. at all they said less RNG. You gotta be a Nightblade, and you gotta be in uh, gotta be in stealth. Maybe all those uh, crit checks were hurting the server. That's what I was about to say. Less I RNG. Mean, maybe it's gonna help them. Why they gotta do a cutie like that though? I don't know. To be honest, I feel like they should reduce the cutie. Dude, the acuity I think cooldown. they should make it like 15 seconds. Yeah, exactly. That'd be nice. They 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 nerfed it, dude. They need to oh. do something to make it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Outside of PVE, at least. Anyway, let's 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 move on. Let's move on. I I, just, I hope CP makes up for it. Anyways, I'm sure it will. I, I, okay, no, I'm not sure, but I hope. <laughs> I hope, please God. In efforts to combat against the effectiveness of pre-buff sets or sets that retain their effect after activating and unequip the, whatever these sets, you now have to be in combat. So armor master, meritorious service, moon dancer, just some shit that doesn't really matter. 
Uh, these buffs are no longer retained if you unequip the number or pieces required to activate them. Stygian and Balorg. Hey, with the fat holster so one. if you activate Balorg and then unequip Balorg and change to a different set, is it like a PvE pro strat or something? That's wild. I don't know. Anyway, here's an interesting one. <clears throat> Adept Rider. They change. Um, the set now permanently grants Major Gallop and Major Expedition when worn. Okay. Rather than granting major evasion while mounted and creating a harmful area, you know what it does. Let's see. We re we with this rework, we expect this set to retain niche in functionality, but far more beginner and crafter friendly by helping traverse the game world, especially when at lower levels. Now, at the risk of being attacked by the community, if Adept Rider gives me a hundred percent uptime on major expedition, I might actually use this in some kind of way. Like I'm, I'm gonna be trash. No, I'm just kidding. Bro, just do just put on a loot, bro. Oh wait, you don't do medium armor. Alright, bro. I'm ending right. stream. It was fun. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I'm I'm gonna keep reading some more real quick. Dungeon and arena. Dr oh, I need to shave claws. every single day. The set now grants up to 129 weapon damage on its five piece bonus. Decrease the weapon damage granted per bleed to one oh three. Spoiler, these changes were done to make up for the fact that you need to make no over apply bleed. That's unfortunate. Why even use the set? Oh, I know who it is. See, Flame Blossom fixed an issue where the set did not properly scale. Iron Blood fixed an issue where the set's snare could stack with specific snares. Oh. Oh. That's kind of... Light Armor be strong, Argonian Biss? Probably. This set now clarify. This is strength of the automaton. The strength now. Fuck. This set now clarifies. It also works with bleed damaging abilities since this is a new damage type, but the set was originally designed to keep the damage type in mind. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. This is random, but I'm so glad you said automaton too because you know how hard I got memed on for saying automaton? Not <laughs> autom. Automaton and everything I'm else. Saying automaton is a fucking idiot. You know what? Hold up. Yeah, y'all quit. Swing. Oh, automaton. I'm about to press the little button. Automaton? What the? <laughs> automaton? So where everybody's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Moving past that. Uh, there's a change to Alkosh. Who cares? This one, though. Alessian's Bulwark. This set now has a cap of 1320 health recovery. That is still plenty to be useful. Yeah, and but it will no longer go to like four fucking thousand on a werewolf. Take that, you werewolf fucks. <laughs> That's yeah. why I'm clapping. <laughs> Ravager. Oh hey. Oh, sort. Sorry, Stam Sort. Your fun time is over. Get fucked, doo doo heads. <laughs> Alright, you wanna take over with these mon this you need to go mod. over the Ravager change. Fix multiple issues where the set could proc off abilities that didn't attempt to reduce a target's resistance. Get off my case. Get mod. wrecked. <laughs> upside down. Koala bear built ass motherfuckers. I uploaded this like fucking four or five months ago or some bullshit. <laughs> I'm still going to use it before it's down. I want to use it. Hey, true wanna... though. It's better than abusing More... proc sets, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Carried by stats, dude. <laughs> All Monster right. mass. Uh, oh, so means okay. said no mm -hmm. longer has a 15% proc chance and is now guaranteed to proc on any non proc melee damage. Increase the cooldown, however, to six seconds up from four, but it also reduced the damage to 11.7k down from 13.3k. We have a developer comment. With these adjustments, we expect lower DPS on the high end for builds utilizing rapid hitting melee attacks such as jabs or rapid strikes while helping it perform better on the lower end with builds that utilize singer hit spammables okay now let me tell you how i feel about this in pvp right i feel like this set with this change it's gonna be kind of nasty on a stand blade now because it's a guaranteed proc at the very start of your burst combo oh so combo that might be kind of nice. I mean, Balorg is still going to be better, but then see getting Burner, that prog yeah, guaranteed right off your, your surprise attack stun from stealth, you, you might you might see some people disappear. 
We'll see. And uh, with that, is that everything? We got a trimmer scale change. Thank God. Fucking fix an issue where the set's physical resistance reduction was considered a snare in some cases. Huh. There are no more procs in PvP. No, they're, just, they're still all the same procs. That's not changing. <laughs> and I think that's everything, isn't it? Okay. Everything that matters. <gasps> no, 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 no. We still got one more section. Furnishing. Where? Oh. They finally fixed an issue that prevented chairs from working in common situations, like when placed on top of certain objects. Thank God this is all I want. It's over. We are done. I'll talk to you later. Head <laughs> ass. Thank God. For I don't, that. Yeah, that's it. All right. Well, I guess I guess we did it. We did it. All right. Give me give me your thoughts. What what stood out to you the most during this, Ellie? Let me hear you. Let me the, hear you. How the, you feeling? I I love the changes to armor. I want to see the changes to actual CP though. Like I want to get on the PTS and see like maybe there's something that gives crit or anything like that, you know? Yeah. Definitely. We got a lot of nerfs. We didn't get nerfs to critical damage or anything. So they obviously still want crit in the game, but the, all the chances got, got changed. I'm just mm -hmm. curious on what the CP looks like. I feel like the yeah. CP will, will make up for it, but we also just went through a fat, nerf a couple months ago where they overall nerfed crit from that cp mm -hmm. already used to give like what seven or eight and now it's like three Woo -hoo. like so I, I i i feel like uh, my opinion on these notes in general is definitely going to strongly vary depending on what those cp trees CP, look like. exactly i'm sure there's already people that are looking at them and you know there might be some people in here who've already looked at the fucking pts and they're like you guys are fucking stupid dude this new cp is awesome <laughs> but you know what I mean. Like I gotta see what it does before I really feel good or bad about any. Medium of these armor things. does. The burning light it's change tripping. is nice. Just to quality of life for Templar, so I don't have to be oh, wait, jabbing no. 110 percent of the time. No, I, don't think it does. I don't know. I can't remember. It's for peace, ain't it? So what was the new set? The the vigor one. Gonna make sure to test that to see if see if resolving vigor gets a buff. But I bet you it won't. No. No eternal vigor change. Speaking of, no Malakath change. Nerf both of those. Fuck both of those sets, anyways. No proc damage reduction. Yeah, no proc damage reduction. I'm a little let down with, with no Malakath change. I wanted to see some sort of adjustment, but. Eh. Yeah. See. No, Gotta keep pay to win, pay to win, am I right? arguments ellie i don't think malakath needs a change i think the proc sets themselves need to change well after major berserk something that was extremely situational granted you can still crit with major berserk i really do think it, it needs maybe a five percent i would like to see it to be 20 if not just make it where it doesn't impact definitely make it that. where it doesn't impact uh procs that's fair that's fair because i mean I'm example like I still think Malakath is too strong. Like the fact that you could put just Malakath on and go like two other sustain sets and put one trainee and still kill people, I think it's dumb. By the same time, <laughs> I, I'd rather complain more about the fucking people using proc sets that just AFK and lie attack you once and kill you. You know, that's yeah. more of an issue to me. Yeah, I don't like those guys. Yeah, Mr. East, uh, he says, bro, they said something about procs in the live stream. Yes, they said there's going to be a test in February on the PC servers yeah. where they turn off all proc sets, including agree, a lot of shit you wouldn't even think is a proc set, like New Moon Acolyte and Seducer. So, Zelly, I'm going to need you to grind me to max CP immediately because I got to get over there with the Hundings and the Spriggans fucking Stamplar build and yeah, I got to poke some shit. Oh, that's going to be fun, dude. I'm going to do Spriggan's New Moon, I'm thinking. I don't think New Moon's going to work, though, because that uh, the 5% thing, I think that's going to count as a, a proc, because, you know, the Seducer reduction does, so why would I was about to say, be? yeah, Seducer. Fuck! <laughs> it's okay, we got Spriggan's. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm probably going to do, I'm probably going to do, like, Hulking, Spriggan's. And then two one piece armors on my monster set, and like a back bar death swing just to get some taunt. That's what, know? yeah. I was gonna back bar death swing again and do two one pieces. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be nice. If not, I was gonna go five five in like endurance or five five in agility or something for some yeah. sort of, you know, defense. You know what we could do? 
Maybe I'll make a video, right? I'm just gonna throw on the Hundings, the yeah. agility, agility, the one, the one Kina. Oh, let's go, dude! Let's go. Bring it back, new meta. Bring it back, Imperial City, baby. Oh, someone said One Piece, Dami, and Trainee. Lots of resources. Damn, that could be true. Fun. That's big brain. Who said that? You get a pat pat. Big brain. <laughs> Our lap a tap. It sounds like a Eldritch horror. <laughs> what a name. Kiri's, yeah. Kiri's saying, can you elaborate on on the seducer thing? Oh, he's talking about... Well, someone... I, I saw it briefly where they were like... For, for the proc set stuff that's going to be disabled in Cyrodiil, they also said that stuff that affects certain skills and ability costs, example, seducers, is not going to be available either. So if seducers yeah. is not going to be a thing, then that means New Moon Acolyte with the increase... Probably isn't going to be a thing either. Mm -hmm. No confirm or deny on that yet, but yeah. we're going to find out. If it has... That a... means no blood spawn. Mm -hmm, no blood spawn. Only for a week, though. Um, so it's anything that... Like what Jay said. Anything that has like some sort of skill check or tracker will be turned off. Someone says, any skills getting nerfs? Yeah, definitely a couple skills. Dark Flare is getting shit on, and snipe surprisingly we're, we're getting we're getting some snipe nerfs now one thing i'm curious to see with the snipe is that they're gonna be able to cast it faster it's gonna travel faster is that gonna make it do more damage to you over time since they're gonna be 500 feet away from you just fucking parsing on you with snipe is that gonna that, that might be a problem we'll see but as long as it's not hitting me for like 11k anymore, I'm, well, I think I'm. I think the initial burst of it isn't going to be too bad because okay, so they mm -hmm. in, they sped up the animation. It's 0 0.8 seconds from from what one whole second, right? Yeah. Okay, so in order to make up for that damage, they have to shoot snipe five times now instead of uh, just four because they also reduce the damage. So they sped right. it up, but they reduce the damage of it. So if if you get hit by five snipes, you're still going to take all the damage. But the initial first snipe, I mean, I'd rather deal with that than just 11k snipes. You know what I mean? I'd rather get hit by, yeah. like, anything less than that. <laughs> so, I do also like the fact that they said that it's gonna they're going to make it to where it's harder to get... So it's harder to shoot off multiple projectiles before the first one lands. So if we can react to snipe before we start taking the second, third, fourth, fifth one, I feel like that'd be a big issue solved. So hopefully between the the changes to the animation, the travel time, and the I, what was the other thing? I Cast think, time. I think regardless, it's a nerf because we do have a global cooldown. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So it speeds up the animation, makes it less clunky, just like D swing. But I mean. It's not like you can spam two snipes in under two seconds. You know what I mean? That's true, yeah. Check skills for increased oh, yeah, skills Less damage. damage since the global cooldown. I feel yeah. like snipers are going to cry. Do, you know what? Five Hold minutes. up. I'm already on the forums. You want to check and see if anybody's crying about snipe already? <laughs> Let me take a peek. Let's see. I don't think I even have the forums on right now. I, I think I have to sign it to my account. I don't remember any of that information. <laughs> unless haha unless nah, i don't see anybody whining about it okay. unfortunately maybe it's maybe it's uh, let me just search snipe where's my snipe sandwich go how are you, why are you nerfing snipe <laughs> <laughs> this guy this guy's thread so nothing new for pvp again disappointing but expected i yeah. agree with that Yep. Any characters getting nerfs? Uh, did any? Did anyone get hit really hard? I don't think so. Not really. Uh, Smag Sorks lost two percent damage in their frags. Uh oh. No, nobody got like completely dismantled. Mm -hmm. There was just classes that were already fucked have not been readjusted. That's the only thing. So classes yeah. that suck now are still gonna suck. Oh, I forgot. There was a uh, there was a big massive nerf to a uh, necromancer. Here, right here, fixed oh. an issue where this ultimate and its morphs could return as damage over time. That dot really carried. It's crazy. Thank God that it's gone. 
I hope you sense the sarcasm. I really hope you do. And if not, I'm sorry to have lied to you, but uh, no. Everything's still stupid, everything's still broken. No health-based heal adjustments or anything like that. We did get a reduction to Alessian, which is good. Well, it's not exactly a reduction, it's just a cap at 1320, which... I mean, you could easily get, what, 50, 40... What, probably like... Let's, let's say 70% increase to your health recovery through modifiers. How much would that be? 13, 20 times 7.7. Okay, plus 13, 20. It's like, it's still like 2,400 or 2,200 health recovery from that big boy. That's fine. Why, why is blood on my dance floor playing in the play? What the fuck? Oh, let me find out. Uh, I don't know why that was in there, right? It wasn't me. It's not my fault. Sure. I didn't do it. They said recommendations, head ass, dude. <laughs> All right. Bring back wings. That'd be nice. Magicka orcs incoming. Yeah. That low key might be kind of fire. You get some sprint speed and an orc with, the, with that mixed matched armor. Ugh. All right, well. I don't want to keep you here all day, Zelly. If you got anything you want to do now, if you want to, if you want to head my, out. My question for you is, are you still going to be live? Like, are you about to jump at Cerdo? Or... Probably. Yeah, more more likely okay. than not. Okay. Just need to know who to... Who... No, I, I got to eat, dude. I'm hungry. I still haven't eaten. That's right. You're a hungry boy. So I'm not going to stay alive. I have all... It was a blast. I'm gonna go ahead and get get up out of here. Uh, when the PTS goes live, I'm definitely hopping on that bitch. That's all I'm gonna say. Respect. I respect it. But yo, dude, it was lit. For you guys don't know my boy, Kuro Yuki. <laughs> I'll check him out, bro. He's a fucking homie. I, uh, I'm a homie. It's, it's it's what I do. And if my guys in here that are here with me right now, if you guys aren't following lord zelly already make sure to go drop him a follow because he is like the best stamp in the game he's Why? like the stamp art grandfather like actually kirimoto is but i'll take second place <laughs> you're only saying that because he's in the chat you... he's not even here anymore oh. <laughs> that's my honest opinion though that was that it. was my that was that was my grandfather okay word word on Xbox, he's not on Xbox now. He is uh, he's a PC guy. He's a uh, he's an evolved form. He's an ascended being. He's more powerful than we are. <laughs> Who plays Stamplar? I play Stamplar. What are you trying to say? I, I do. That's bad. All right. Well, yeah, two I mean, so. I'm gonna get up out of here. Gotta end this recording session as well, man. It was fun. Well, we should definitely yeah. do this like every PTS patch note thingy jiggy every three months or whenever it occurs. Dude, I'm down. Nice. All right, dude. I'm going to get up out of here. You go enjoy your PvP. I, I, I got to go eat, dude. I am starving, bro. I'm about to eat like 600 wings or something, man. Yo, for sure, man. You go. You fuel up. I'm going to suffer on my stand decay for another <laughs> hour or two. Try to All get right. some clips. All right, man. Sounds good, bro. I'll see you around, Kuro. I see you. Have a good day. Thank you again. You too, bro. It was fun. Peace Thanks out. for the idea. Mm -hmm. Mwah. Mwah. All right, guys. It was fun going over this. Before I end the recording session and raid over. Yo, thank you guys for actually showing up to a PTS patch note review. About to raid my boy, Kuro. The guy that we were in voice chat with. Very knowledgeable player. Plays on Xbox. Um, just moved over to PC, so I'm helping him level. I just bought him any race, any alliance, thing like that. Um, I would stay live, but I'm hungry as fuck. Like, I, I'm hungry. So, I, I'm, I'm dipping out of here. I appreciate you guys for everything today. I'm gonna go eat. We're gonna raid the homie. Thank you guys for watching. Um, what's today? I might be live again in like six hours. I'm still doing some stream, stream deck stuff. Anyways, um, we'll see you guys later, hopefully. Mwah.